one-two situation. So everything on the line right now. I'm telling you what, Jeremy Fapani, that number 75, been strong all week, and he has your Bell Helmets whole shot award. And is that Benick quickly up behind him? And also you got the number 30 of Drew Adams on the Kawasaki. Go ahead. Uh, this is going to be... No, that is a 21 no, KTM. That is not Benick. Ryder with a good start. That's Enzo Timmerman up Deegan two seconds. Through. He, Deegan was about fifth, so he'll be the first of our two championship contenders that we see come into play. There's Christian Yannick. Where is the 38 now, though? These guys got to be careful. This track's just been freshly groomed and watered. It's slippery out there. Man, Yannick making some moves here, trying to get up to second. I think he's battling it out with Drew Adams, pair of Kawasaki riders. Whoa, Drew Adams, wild ride there on the 30. Did he go down? Let's see. Nope, he's still up. A couple cow is still right in tow. So good, Will Hahn wants to step up there. He wants to be in the action. He wants to, you to call the action. He wants to see you and hear it live, Jason. No, I think Will Hahn's jealous. He knows he fits really well on these 85cc machines. He's wondering if he's got a spot. Look. Yeah, it's just a shame that I just, you know, I'm That you're old. not 12? Yeah, that, <laughs> even though I look 12, contrary to popular belief, I'm not. He helped develop that YZ85. Did you do some testing on that thing for real? Yeah, we really did. We, I tested the 85 and the Super Mini. What'd you like? The Super Mini really fits you, doesn't it? Unfortunately, yes, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that is best quote of the week so yeah, far. Unfortunately, I helped develop yes, the Super Mini, and I really like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking uh, for Deegan, he's about fourth. He's tucked in just behind the Kawasaki of Drew Adams. But now it's Christian Yannick, his dad, a part of that Russian mafia, out front leading it. Wow, so you got to watch out. Even if Yannick doesn't win, you don't want him to manipulate. No, the Deegan bowling. is down. Deegan, the 38. Championship. He, oh. he had to run way back to get his bike, too. Well, Bomber. it has changed in a hurry. I just glanced away for one moment. We saw him come through around fourth, fifth, and then the very next turn, he went down. But we still have to look for... Seventh place for Dax Bennett. Man, Dax Bennett, a terrible start. Bennett been struggling with our pump. Handed over a Moto win when he was leading yesterday. Just lost all his aggression. And then Deegan started riding out of his mind well in these ruts. He was riding so well. So now Deegan's really going to have to pull out a miracle now. Yeah, that's a, it's a tall weird situation. order Yeah, it is a tall order. But it's a weird situation for Bennett. I know on the outside, people are going to say, ah, just put it in cruise mode. No, man, guys don't like That's to ride like that. That's how you like go that. down. That's yep. how you crash. Yep. Things happen. Will Hahn, where would you finish in this race if you were out there and you were in good shape? Top 10? I don't know. These kids are so fast now, dude. I don't, I don't know if I want to line up with these guys. Is there anyone that you got answer. to measure yourself with? Any of the guys in the stable over there at Yamaha or anything? Did you do any lap times against kids? Uh, what? <laughs> Once in a while, yeah, we'll get the stopwatch out and see how far off even the pros I am. And because you know, I just talk big, like, hey, if, you know, just give me your bike, I'll, I'll do it. You know. And yeah. It's uh, it's not reality anymore. Okay, those days are gone. At least you own it, man. You uh, own it. Hey, I remember Will Hondo. We had some classic motos. Was that you and uh, Hill? Was that a Josh Hill battle? That was an awesome one. That's a classic. That was uh, my best year here uh, mm -hmm. by far. I remember we were one and two that whole moto and battled the whole time back and forth and ended up getting him, but uh, him and he got the championship. Yeah, that was still a good Still one. didn't end well. Leaving it out there. The ghosts of the oh, ranch. Of remember these stories, these battles in the past. It's amazing to see someone come all the way through as an amateur, remember graduating, going to pros, then retiring, now a team manager, now back. It's amazing that process, dude. No, it's crazy. When I, when I pull up here, like when I'm driving from Nashville in, and you still get those same memories with the family, and it's all positive stuff. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just crazy to come back to 10 years later. Watching uh, Benick is moving up now. I think we got him in around He's fourth. fourth. Yeah. Hey, by the way, what's your dad up to? Your dad was one of the most fun people to talk to at the races. I don't get to see him around anymore since you're not racing. What's he doing these days? Uh, just uh, working his business back home, being a handyman around town, and uh, I think relieved that uh, we're not really racing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's chilled out? Yeah, chilled yeah, out very, a bit. very relaxed all the time. Just call me, what's up, how's it going? About it. That's cool. Wow. That's the way you're supposed to live. Dax Bennett now, yeah. living right. He's working on Drew Adams on the number 30 Kawasaki. Dax Bennett being cautious, don't want to throw the moto away. We have seen several championships today get tossed to the ground, so you got to keep it on two wheels. Oh, and that Hayden 125 Deegan, C class. That was a saw bummer. That was devastating. Yeah. That's Didn't have to do it. He had five points to give. Steinbrauer tossed it away when he went down, but hey, that's what Loretta Lynn's. That's why you do three motos, man. It is tough. Where Weird is Deegan? Happen. Man, Deegan still not on the radar not after this the... early crash outside of the top 15. The Kawasaki boys still slugging it out. Yannick. You see on the number 27 right here on the left side. 
They're and fighting for those spots that are going to be vacated now. When Ryder D moves up to the last stop of his mini cycle career, Jet Reynolds will jump up. They're fighting for those ADCC spots that Ryan Holiday will have available. Yeah, and that's key. Everybody knows the ages when you're a talent scout. And uh, Drew Adams, they were talking about, is one of the youngest riders in this class. So even though he hasn't been able to beat Bennett or Deegan this year, they're certainly encouraged with some podiums. Kristen Yannick, though, in the 27, still leads it. Power sliding their way through that sand. But here comes Bennett. Probably their best ride, though, to keep Dax Bennett behind him for this long. I think Bennett might have been working on something. He drew up right alongside. And Christian Yannick can, has the most flexible neck of all. He can spin <laughs> 180 degrees really yeah. good. He is an owl. He can see it all. Got great night vision. Keeping that head on a swivel. Literally. Literally there, yeah. Got the pan, 180 degree <laughs> ball bearings, head just like a, a, a tripod for your camera. Well, now when he looks back, he's going to see the big number one of Daxton Bennett, who's looking to back it up and do it two years in a row. Here we go, near the billboards, stalking the leader. Bennett doesn't have to win the moto. He's just trying to run his pace, and wherever it puts him, it puts him, because Hayden Deegan still not in the top 15. But you want to be careful. We've seen it earlier. They get close to the guy, and then they wind up tapping the front wheel or going down or trying a different line they wouldn't normally do. Settle in behind him. If he makes a huge mistake, slip by. I just don't think you want to race too aggressive. We just saw Hayden Deegan in that shot. He is half a track behind these wow. guys. Wow. Literally, his little shoulder popped up. I saw the 38 with that pink gear. Christian Janik, best ride of the week for him. Way to finish your week off, man. This kid will look you up. He is just like... Axel Ward looks at the competition, and he is going to watch Dax Bennett go right on by, Jason. Bennett just used a different line of the Ten Commandments. That's the way he wanted to do it. Keep it clean. Don't run into anyone when the championship's on the line. So they didn't have to worry about bumping in the ruts. That was smooth. There you go. That's yep. how you do it. So that's it. Daxton Bennett's in position right now. There will be another showdown, though, between he and Deegan later. They were actually with a uh, two classes where they're matched up this week. I think Deegan's looking at a 1-1 in the other division, though. Maybe a little redemption. Yeah, just arm pump. That's what Bennett said. Got him yesterday. Man, he is so huge on that motorcycle. He's got to come in 5-9-ish, 5-10. Don't, don't, well, don't make Wilbur jealous up here. Of, yeah, we're about the same size. So I'd say he's 5-9, 5-10, something like that. So yeah, I'm like probably right there, like average height. Adult male, and he's the same size as me. And Will yeah. Hahn comes in at 5'2", five, 5'3", five, <laughs> oh, maybe. He's brutal. <laughs> maybe. Brutal. He tippy toes on the Super Mini, so he's got to have the starting blocks as a grown it's man really, well, on the Super Mini. He's got the double stacked Alex Martin pegs. He's got the high heel Alpine the 65. stars. Yep. Now the Yamaha's got the oh, 65. Oh, Yannick goes off the track. Wow. Ooh. Christian yeah. Yannick just shot a hard left, or was that Drew Adam? No, it was Yannick. They needed an even smaller team manager over there now that they got that 65 Yamaha. Is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, Will's too big now, actually. So who are they going to bring they, in for they, that they one? they got to find an even smaller dude. Maybe Gage Linville's dad. Is he tiny? Yeah, he's about 5'1". How about these Cali riders won't give up on the battle? Drew Adams, Kristen Janik, they battled for a while. Deegan, or sorry, Bennick went through them, split them. Now they've caught back up to each other in this battle for second. Logan Best, Ooh. speaking of that Yamaha, he is in fourth. There Jeremy Fapani is fifth. Enzo Temmerman 6th, Thor Powell 7th, Jordan Renfro 8th, Jordan Torres. Torres. The switch hitting middle infielder, Jordan <laughs> Torres. Is 9th, uh, and Juice Smurlick, top 10. Boy, Hayden Deegan, it wasn't just a crash, it was a big one. Didn't hit the ground hard, but yeah, the bike went ended up on one side of the jump. He ended up on the other. He had to run back and get it, and that cost him dearly. A little bit of water down on that jump, and it gets somebody. Every few mo few motos, we'll see it. This is the movie is coming out called "This Is Bennett's War." Dax Bennett's War. Oh, I like that. Yes, Bennett's War, which we had a little preview for it. New movie about motocross, and this is Bennett's War, and he's looking to win it. Just got to hold on. But remember the heartbreak earlier today. Jet Lawrence had a pro sport title well within his grasp, and the bike broke while he was leading the third moto. So nothing is assured until it's over. This second place shot is definitely not a short from These over. two keep duking it out. Yeah, teammates always seem to find each other. Yep. All that pride, that team pride. You want to be the fastest guy under the awning. Hey, who's going to get this Horizon Award? Have you guys started thinking about that? It is so topsy-turvy. We have no idea who's going to get that thing. Yeah, I don't know how the AMA will look at that because, you know, let's say Lawrence comes back. He's in position to win another title. 
if you have five really good motos, let's say you have three moto wins, two seconds, and a DNF, and you were leading, do they you just say, nah, the math says you didn't score well, or do they look at that from a, how would we say it, a quality over quantity standpoint? The eyeball test. The eyeball test and say, we know it's not your fault, the bike broke. Or do they just say, nah, you only got ninth in one class with the 1-1 one, one DNF? Yeah, we got to pick the brain of Alex Hunter and kind of see what he has in mind, because that's kind of what they're up against. Brian, not going to do the eyeball test. Brian, the blind motocross fan, not a fan of the eyeball test. We can just thump you right in yours, right? Go ahead. Oh, I wouldn't do that. That's bullying. We'll would not do that. Brian, you have thick skin, man. I appreciate you hanging out, letting us mess around with you. Brian's a big sports fan, though. He loves all sports, baseball, football, basketball, hockey, lacrosse, knows them all. Logan Best is fourth, not quite in this camera shot to the Ten Commandments. It's still those two Team Green Riders all by themselves. Daxton Bennett trying to get it done for uh, Nathan Ramsey and Hope and everybody over there at the Orange Brigade. They are really building a base to that KTM amateur program when you look at having him and Deegan, Seth Dennis, just above that level on the Super Mini. You got Max Volan. They got a lot of fast mini cycle riders. They are loaded. Yep. So this will be interesting the next five, six years for KTM, how they play all that with these riders coming through. As for uh, Kawasaki here, man, Greenville, depleted. tough week, depleted with injuries before the event. Even sent Ryan Holiday home. Yeah, he did have to go home, I think, to attend to a, a family situation that the uh, Team Green manager, Ryan Holiday. Well, he's enjoying this. Get a lot of camera time, his two guys are. Yep. Seeing what they got. Yannick and, and Drew Adams. This is crazy, this battle. Been about five laps of this. That is, that's as far apart as they have been right there. Christian Yannick, the soft J. Christian soft J Yannick. Into the beach turn. Drew's gotten up alongside him a couple times, but Yannick doing a great job fending it off. We'll see if Drew has another charge in him. If he get close enough to use that red hair as kryptonite, he's got to get within five feet, and then that will slow the rider down near you, allowing him to go by. Dole's the senses for just a moment. He slips by. He needs that anger kick in. Yep, his eyes will turn green. Yep. Maybe Break out put, of that jersey. I recommend you put some on that pit board to get some really mad. Mm. Fire him up. David Bannister. Yeah, you do not want... He rides a green motorcycle. Of course. No surprise. He is a little incredible red-headed Hulk. You do not want to meet him when he's angry. Past the Yamaha Mechanics area we go. Left-hand turn into the long short shoot. Enzo Temmerman had a good start. He's fifth. Renfro, Powell, Fapani, Torres, and Smurlick round out the top ten. I'm not sure if... Deegan's even circulating at yeah, this point. Yeah, I don't know if Deegan's even in this one. If he's smart, you know, if he knows he's way out of championship contention, you go back, get that bite looked after, and get ready to go win your next title where you're sitting 1-1 at. Mini Senior 2 will be up next, then Masters 50 plus, 250B Limited. Those are our next couple of motos. And don't forget, 5 p.m. Open Pro Sport, followed by 250B. Those are two key ones to watch on Racer TV. So when you wrap up your workday on a Friday, come tune us in. Tell your friends, too. It'll be really exciting to watch. A lot of people just driving down the road, illegally watching racing on their phone. It's dangerous, but I get it, man. The lure is there. Whoa! For Penny! Whoa! For Penny, for feet off the pegs. Almost for crashed. <laughs> that was wild. Didn't really lose that much ground. I think that might have been uh, Thor Powell moving forward. They're in a battle right now. Thor. Using the superpowers. There it was. I was waiting. You knew it was coming. I knew you were searching. Don't tell me Thor has long hair out of the uh, back of that helmet. Of that he would does. be. It's that would much. be. Please grow that hair out, Thor Powell. He, Fafani has great hair, though. That is solid right there. When you got the neck brace. And the hair flowing And outside, the hair flowing combo. Auburn color, brownish. Never had to worry about that back in the day when Mickey Diamond had the hair hanging out of the back. No neck braces to worry about. No, now you, you got to have the all. neck brace hair situation figured out ahead of time. Whoa, wow, Fapani committed to that little right-hander. Then you got the hair of, like, old man Johnson. Looks like Krusty the Clown. That hat can barely contain it. You can't. Just pops out. Yeah. You could probably use that as a cup holder. You could put it, you could lay it a cup out. on the top of that hair. It's like a gutter. He's got a gutter, a rain <laughs> gutter all the way around his head. <laughs> little down spouts. Doesn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes, right. Down spouts are sideburns. Yep, get under him if it's raining, yeah. everybody. <laughs> Providing shelter and food for everybody down at MTF. Old man Johnson, the brunt of our joke 
Anytime we can squeeze in a Mike Treadwell or an old man Johnson Joe, we're getting it in there. We know the, love those gnarly old guys. How about this guy's dad? He's a mover and a shaker. He definitely knows a thing or two. His dad, actually, Daxton Bennett, Top freestyle Bennett. guy. Yeah, Todd Bennett used to race arena cross, and he would tear up Muddy Creek and all the yeah. uh, Carolina and, uh, series. still does freestyle uh, as a missionary. He goes to churches. Plus does 40 freestyle, freestyle for the kid. Yeah. freestyle. Yeah, he'll bring ramps out. He'll jump. I'm not joking. He jumps church buses. <laughs> bring, so the kids want to go to church, fires them up. That's a, I'd rather have that than some of the other activities. What would you rather see at church? Motorcycle Absolutely. jumping? I'm yeah, down. count me in. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, they change it up a little bit. No kiss of death. They don't allow that there. Uh, I hope you ended up provided some entertainment. Thanks for Will Hahn for coming on up. I'm headed to the podium. And Dax Bennett continues to march towards a championship. Like Chad Reed says, you got to be in it to win it. And your name needs to be Bennett. In it to win it, Dax Bennett. That could be the new nickname, Dax in it to win it, Bennick. That's right, Dax Bennick's war, he has secured the front line, came through, broke the lines, broke their hearts, and he is gonna get the win. As we, oh, that would be great. The RM Army, if he was on a Suzuki, the Bennix War, the RM Army, the jokes, we could just continue on. He's on the Orange Brigade, though. He's in that brigade. He's on the Orange Brigade. Bennix War is in the Orange Brigade. Special Forces in the Orange Brigade here. Ground troops. He is a foot soldier. He is an assassin. A lone mercenary goes out on his own mission. His mission was to win this moto. He needed some help. Hayden Deegan goes down on the first lap. They were, he was just in front of him. He was in yep. fifth. Dax was right behind him. We were setting this thing up for a fantastic, exciting championship. But I guess uh, Christian Yannick and Drew Adams stepped in, filled in wow. on that role. As the laps continue to click off, the number one, the big number one, the returning champ, Dax Vinnick. Yeah, those guys still, you know, racing this one all the way to the end. Taking a look at that battle right now on the screen. Well, we were. As we pick back up with the number one, the Orange Brigade. Phoenix War, he's looking around. A little salute, blows a kiss to uh, the ladies out there. That's a quality Six foot move. Six three inches. Six foot three is what they measured him at the combine with the boots on. Wingspan seven foot. Those are all the measurables. Big hands can bring that ball in. It's great vertical, quick. Did the Wonderlick test, scored very well there as well. <laughs> Wow, oh. still sending that thing off the cake slice. Slice of cake there, the strawberry shortcake of jumps. And that's devil's food. Mmm. Mmm, wow. he says. <laughs> White flag should be getting ready to come out. That should be it right there, I would imagine. These guys are going to go 10 laps. Best lap, 201 on lap number four, Dax Bennett. 201, wow, that's that's a pretty fast lap considering the uh, conditions we're looking at here right now. Very uh, deep, a lot of traction. It puts some moisture on it at the beginning of the race. And with that in consideration, as it's starting to dry out, lap time's going to improve a good bit here this afternoon. A great overhead shot of Dax Bennett. We're probably 100 feet above him now. You can see the drone getting the great shot, showing you how rough this Loretta Lens racetrack is. The slot car lines, you get to see that overhead shot really brings the track to life. Bennett, the Red Bull Troy Lee Designs athlete, hoping to follow in the footsteps of some great Red Bull TLD guys. Got to get those guys a championship, though. They don't have a championship, the TLD team. Really? You would think, like, yeah, just in I your head, you think they've won a yeah. title. Have, hasn't happened. Huh. Who's going to be the first one to nail down a title? Holy Nice cow. wheelie. He's yeah, feeling you missed it. the first three whoops of it, too, man. Nice. So there's a reason for that other than just being cool. 
just manual that thing right through the beach back there. Dax Benick, wow. Around the big sweeper one more time with Dax Benick's war. And we are looking to see. The final shots have been fired, Kevin. Very has. The war is over. And that'll do it, Dax Bennett. He will go two, two, one. And he will be the champ. There is Hayden Deegan. He just came through. That wow. was interesting. He's nowhere in. I can't, unless his transponder fell off. I think he was off. sitting right down here, maybe. Because I, I scanned this track looking for him, man. He, he never came through. You might be right. I think he sat there by that tree, probably, or right I, by us. I, I'm thinking I just saw him pop onto the track Must right be. there. So Yeah, we couldn't see from up nope, here. but absolutely not. Because I kept scanning out these windows just looking to confirm if he went back to the truck or not. Well, he will live to fight another day. He will That's square right. off with Dax Bennett in their next moto. So it's going to be Bennett with the championship. Drew Adams and Logan Best round out your top three in this 85, 10 to 12. The moto looks like this, though. It's Bennett, Adams, Janik, Best, and Enzo Timmerman rounds out your top five as we get ready to send it down to Jason Wygant, who is on our race tech podium. Jason? Yeah, so you're saying uh, Best got the edge there for third right at the end? Logan Best will finish up fourth in the moto. Oh, fourth. Oh, third in the championship. Third I got in it. the championship. So yes, we got to look for Kristen Yannick down here for the third place finish. All right, so what a battle, by the way, for second and third. This entire moto, you essentially had the two Kawasaki pilots duking it out. We'll get to our championship in a moment, but right now we've got to talk to third place and second. Man, some great racing out here. They went back and forth. Let's hear it for the third place finisher, Kristen Yannick. All right, stand here in the center. You and Drew Adams, you battled like the whole way. Yeah, he's, he was riding really good. I mean, I got off to a good start and um, he was just riding really good. So I just let him by. Oh, he passed me and I just wanted to stay in that spot and just rode my race. Feel good to get some moto hardware? Yeah, it's amazing. Yep. Who do you want to thank, Kristen? My mom, my dad, Jesus for keeping me safe. Monster Energy Routine Green Kawasaki Pro Circuit, Bell Helmet, Scott Goggles, Atlas, <laughs> Seven, Pro Circuit, Maxima, Uni Air Filters, Renthal, and every other forgot, thanks. Oh, and SSR. Cool. Let's hear it for Kristen Yannick taking third. Drew Adams. We're going to get Drew Adams up here to talk about the silver. There he is. Well, he rode really well all week, and I think this might be good enough for second overall, the way it all turned out in this one. Let's hear it for Drew Adams. Man, you and Yannick battled forever. It seemed like an hour of watching you guys side by side. Yeah, I just tried to get a really good start, and then Daxon passed me, so I tried to stay on his pace. Cool. Feeling good this week? Solid week for uh, podiums? Happy with that? Yeah, I've been really consistent in this class the whole time. I just... You'll be back for more. Who do you want to thank? My mom, dad, Pro Circuit, Kawasaki, No Mount Tosh, hooking me great off the gate. Um, Bell Helmets, 100%. And sir, um, nobody forgot. Thank you. All right, let's hear it for him. Drew Adams, second place. And now our champion. Come on out here and stand in the middle. That is cool right there, good sportsmanship. We will hand over the trophy and the gold medal for the Moto Victory. And what the heck, we'll give him some champagne as well. Let's hear it for our national champion, second year in a row, Daxton Benning. Well, just to add a little more drama, both you and Hayden Deegan, what the heck, you guys are both pretty far back at the start. What happened there? Yeah, I don't know, I got off to a 
I hooked up and I kind of got sideways and collided with the kid and uh, just kind of messed me up a little bit and just started to put my head down. I knew I had to charge to the front and that's what I did. How'd you feel throughout that moto? You got in the lead, you had to hold it. Did you feel strong to the end? Yeah, a lot better than yesterday. I don't know what happened, but uh, today was definitely a lot better. Felt strong the whole time. What kind of pressure is it going into a moto tied like that? What did you feel like this morning and last night and all those things? Uh, definitely would think about it. It's because uh, me and Hayden are really fast and it's uh, it's always we know if we both get started, it'll be a definitely a big battle. So. You came out on top. We'll let you thank some people, Dex. Yeah, Lord Jesus Christ, keep me safe. KTM, Orange Brigade, my mom, my dad, Kyle, um, Truly Designs, everyone for coming to watch me. Thank you. And uh, just FMF, Dunlop Tires, everyone, thank you. All right, there it is. He's got a big smile because he is your national champion. Let's hear it for Daxton Benning. And to make it official, we'll bring Alex Hunter.